future. Welcome back to another episode of Table 500, where you send in your dumbest, funniest, wackiest, stupidest replays in all of Mass to Do. All right, we've got what appears to be branded Melfi. Okay, we're adding branded fusion, so okay. I don't see where the Melfi's come into this. What the f did you just say? <laughs> Big koala. <laughs> Summon Rind Brum. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> okay. Uh, special summoning catty in the end phase. <laughs> what are we doing with this big koala? Oh no, chalice on the, uh, what's it called? Oh, here's Meek. Who the f*** is that? Mystical Sheep 1. <laughs> Substitute this card for any one fusion material. Oh, what the hell? How many of these things exist in Yu-Gi-Oh? I feel like there's like 90 cards that just say you can substitute this material. Um, okay, anyway, so like, what's the plan here? Sorry? What's, what's, what are we doing? <laughs> All right, well, our opponent is just playing, like, Manadium, I guess. Uh, you tried to negate with Rinbrum. That's that's okay. We forgot about the Chalice at the start of the turn. All right, Vsas, pop Meek. Uh, pop the baby. And Prime Heart! Ah, a man with uh, culture, I see. All right, we're going to uh, negate this, target this, bring back Albaz. Why are we bringing back Rinbrum instead of Albaz? We could have made a... Uh, what's... You know what? Don't worry about it. I'm sure these catties and mystical sheeps will do something here. All right, here we go. Draw for a turn. Ayers Rock Sunrise. Wow, that's really... <laughs> that's a big koala, dude. Whoa, he's fusing. What is he making? Who is Master of Oz? Goat fucking format card, dude. Let's go. All right. Um, my... This is the best branded deck I've ever seen. Can we get Scarlon on this, please? Can she? Can we please get like Scarlon's approval for this one? Oh God, you've talked that Calarium. That's not good. Wait, that's insane. Ah, surely we can't out Big Koala. All right, we're gonna go Rhyme Heart for me. Listen, buddy, if you, how can you not out Master of Oz? What? Are you trolling? Guys, any Manadium experts here? Please tell me there was a way to play out, play out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Did we have a way to out this? Like, you can't. <laughs> you can't. Does he even have flavor text? Oh, we're adding another big koala. A species of huge desk koala. He's meek, but people are afraid of him because he's very powerful. He's meek, by the way. Vsas is popping meek right now as we speak. Special summon. Here comes the Kalarium plays here. Hello? Can you please just out the big koala? It can't be that hard. Like, what do you mean you can't out big koala? Astraloud! Let's go! Okay, all right. Jester here. Arrival, bring back Scare Cash. We out at the Koala! How? All right. Attack over. Wait, what the hell does this do? <laughs> you thought he was gone! <laughs> He's back! <laughs> oh! Now there's two of them! No, there's two of them! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Despia Temple revived the koala. <laughs> okay, alright. Um, that was just amazing. Th yep, that was that was great. Can I just say the title of this uh, replay on the spreadsheet, by the way, is branded. So um I'm glad we got to see that branded replay. That was a really good branded deck. All right, everyone, badge. Because it's time for the sleepy girl. Our opponent is going first here with Pot of D. Oh my god, share if you play! All right, does Necro Valley hurt Manadium? Sorry, not Manadium. Does, Ma does Necro Valley hurt Nemliria? Let's find out. All right, we're going to activate the uh, Nimliria spell card to be judgmented. Kek W, we drew a second one. Cry about it. Banish here to add a Yelp. Mayo, Senju, Hito, and Daibak. L and R. L underscore L. Hito, Hito, target, Daibak, target, target. Chain to bounce, chain to bounce, chain to bounce. A lot of bouncing happening in this duel. Attack with Daibak. End phase, Daibak, bounce yourself now. And we're setting a counter trap here. Our opponent is going to go into a uh, another one of these, plus Necro Valley, passing turn. Uh-huh. And, uh, yes, we've got Sabu. 
Oh, more Nimliria cards. We're adding another Hito. And a dieback. L plus R. Palom, eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf. Target, target. Target effect to target, effect to target to bounce. Target effect to bounce, target effect to bounce. Bounce the target. Bounce yourself now. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> We're chain like 13. Each time a card on the field is returned to the main deck, all your Senjus gain 500. Chain link 15. You know the cap in Master Duel was 16, by the way? Wait, is it or is it actually 15? Resolve. 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 <laughs> Those are some big fucking US entries. <laughs> I think we win, guys. <laughs> Nimliria, by the way. Tiara meant strongest. Gotta love to start with this one here. How many cards are you playing? Uh, looks like 40. Sending Havness, alright. Gonna fuse, and uh, yeah, we're gonna start our engines and see what kind of ridiculous stuff we're gonna... Gonna do here. <laughs> alright. Not the greatest turn here, but, you know, clearly we're here for our opponent. That's why you sent this in. Let's see what the opponent is. <laughs> okay, that's... Classic. Classic, alright. <laughs> Storm Duster. Get a search here. Didn't get Havness, huh? Damn, okay, what is this? Uh, we're stacking our deck and then passing turn. Alright, interesting. Uh, so not much we can really do here other than hope the Shiren does something. Mills 3. Goes Destro to target the Shiren. I don't know if how much you want to make your... Uh, I don't know how much life points you want to take away from yourself here. Okay, we're gonna bring back Snow. What did you just do? You know you could have made Redoer and then... Oh! Pep! You're not gonna win this, are you? Pep effect attack for game. <laughs> Damn, juggler. It's funny because specifically Battle Fader and Swift Scarecrow, I don't think actually work because I think they kind of affect the monster, but damage juggler specifically is uh, what your opponent did here. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go main phase two into Cross Sheep and pass. Uh, okay. Interesting. Uh, what rank are you out of curiosity? <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna lose the lava golem? <laughs> you just go okay, a thousand. Alright. We just need to survive. One more turn. One more turn. Alright, we're gonna grief away the uh Shiren. Oh, your opponent's drawing now, by the way. Uh Kaleido Heart, I don't think that's gonna help you here. Should have made Kick Coloss, actually. Alright, battle phase. Alright, we get to do six thousand here. <laughs> Mama, GG. <laughs> All right, great star, honestly. Um, I was just trying to play my fun tier limit deck and then I destrudoed myself. It is what it is. All right, we got something down in the gold five section. Oh my God, what is this? Galaxies. Oh, your opponent's gonna go first here, it looks like. Gonna go Rota for Junk Converter and discard the Junk Converter and a uh, Assault Synchron. That's gonna get hit with Ash Blossom. Uh, well, I guess you have to use it now, because if you wait for the speeder, they can chain block it. Uh, start your engines, I think, or this is? Okay, we have the Junk Synchron anyway. Normal summon Junk Synchron. Uh, Junk Synchron, bring back. Here it is, the Junk Speeder. And Chain Link 1 Speeder. Chain Link 2 Convert. Wait, what? Oh, we're not even going to chain block here? Okay, I guess maybe we should have held the Ash Blossom. Five Tuner Monsters. All right, where are we going to go with this here? We're going to go into Power Tool Dragon. Power Tool Dragon revealing. Let's speed this up a little bit. See what little bro is doing here. Arrive in the light here for the Converging Wills for Stardust Dragon. And, yep, summoning more Tuners. Targeting, discarding Jet Synchron for Doppel Warrior. This is kind of disgusting here. Sahaya. Tribute to revive this thing. Trigger the Doppel Warrior. Synchro all of them into Majestic Star Dragon for two more tokens. Into Garden Rose Maiden. Okay, things are, uh we're, uh... we're definitely playing the game here. Okay, no, we're just discarding it, actually, for the Jet Synchron, for the Double Star Shaman to bring back the Doppel War. Nope, okay, never mind. Into Cosmic Quasar Dragon, Bat Chest. Into another Sahaya. Sahaya target Sahaya. Converter, bring back the, uh... The what's it called? And that's gonna be Crimson Dragon. Crimson Dragon. Adding Scrap Iron Scare Sacred Statue for actual... OG Quasar Dragon and Stardust Dragon 
Nice. Okay, Yusei is absolutely going crazy right now. Wait, hang on. Is there fucking more here? Are you serious? Assault Stardust Dragon. <laughs> Bringing back the double star shaman here, and that's going to make a spider. All right, the spider. This spider going to bring back the Stardust from the grave and make another <laughs> Crimson Dragon. Wait, what are you doing here? Quasar banishes itself to summon Blazar. And then Assault Synchron banishing to bring back the Bla the Quasar. That is six white monsters on the field. Turn one, bat chest, you say. My man. All right, uh, can we beat this? Surely not, right? What does Quasar actually do? Oh, Quasar has a negate? Okay, cool. And we're going to use the Crimson Dragon. Wait a minute, are you summoning the Calamity? Because this, like, misses timing. Oh my god, he missed fucking timing. <laughs> Wait, did he... Did he just miss timing? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, we're gonna Orbital here for Photon Dragon. Uh, tribute, add a galaxy. He must be very confused. Why is my opponent activating card effects, by the way? If you don't know how timing works, it needs to be summoned as Chain Link 1. Because we activated to summon it as chain link three, it misses timing because it wasn't the last thing to happen in the la in the previous chain. So uh, I don't know. Maybe we can play through this. I mean, if there's a deck in the game that can play through this, maybe it's photons. All right, uh, overlaying into uh, cipher blade dragon. Oh no, actually, just galaxy photon dragon. Galaxy photon dragon detaching. Fighter. Gonna put ba this back here and destroy. I think or negate. Doesn't matter. We're gonna go chain hyper galaxy. Chain Scrap Iron Statue, which targets Stardust Dragon in the graveyard. It reborns Stardust Dragon. Hyper Galaxy sends this, summons Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon. All right, okay. Uh, and we're adding Afterglow Dragon. All right, Galaxy 100, banishing a card from the opponent's extra deck. Afterglow Dragon, special summoning itself here. Overlays up into Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. Using Twitch Prime in the channel right now into Neo Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon Battle Phase. Effect at the start of the battle phase. Detaching, gaining attack or something like that. You're attaching another material from the deck. You're attacking for 12.8 damage for 10k and OT King through King Calamity. Which I would probably not say it's King Calamity. I think your opponent just didn't know how to use the uh, the chain links correctly. But you know what? Very funny. Epic duel right there. That's a kite versus Yusei anime duel right there. All right, this next replay is called Gage, apparently. Ga gay. Ga gay. Ga gay. <laughs> you weren't trolling, huh? All right, so I don't watch progression series, uh, but I assume that this is fairly close to uh, a Gage hand from progression series. Uh, I feel like we missed something here, but sure. We got Gage's Season 1 deck. We're gonna start with Urgent Schedule. Oh boy, summoning Despot freaking was that 9? Nine? 9 and 1 here. Okay. Oh, Sacred for Jet! Uh, favorite contact. Putting back Stratos Sparkman for Flame Wingman. Flame Wingman adds a favorite card here, favorite hero. Ah, uh, yes, you see we can use that next turn in Platinum 4. Jet pops itself for 2 to add 3. Normal summon 3. 3 specials 2. 2 adds 5. <laughs> Great despots, honestly. Good combo. Ancient Gear Ballista. Alright. Gonna go Ballista for Yup Box. Box add 4. And Vernasolf starts the discarding to add. And also special summon back two. Two. Not once per turn. Add six. Uh, adding genius. This deck is genius if you ask me. Six and five make scales. Pendulum summon. Holy. Pendulum summon four and seven. Genius triggers and one triggers. <laughs> um, okay. Summon back from the graveyard. Genius adds eight. And then we're going to make double-headed Anger Knuckle, triggering the Vernasolf here, discarding eight to add the duck, bringing back two. Two adds back base. Links away the field here for a Trigate Wizard. Uh, effect of the, uh, what's it called? Discarding to send a Gizmek to bring back two. Two adds five. We've got all the names in rotation now. Anger Knuckle pitch five to add back Jet. And then and then binary sorceress here, okay. Gizmek triggers, banishing, targeting two, revived. 
Again. Two add three. And then link into Pit Knight. Try get wizard effect, banishing my favorite hero. Activate desk belt base. Banishing all nine numbers from the graveyard and the scales to shuffle away the opponent's entire field hand and graveyard. <laughs> Wait, what? Attack for 15? Pass? <laughs> oh boy, I hope they don't top deck Stratos. They didn't top deck Stratos. <laughs> Despot base? More like Despot base. Snake Eye. Say Gex. Say Gex. Discard Droll for Snake Eye Ash. The title is important. Snake Eyes and I quote the submitter without tuning the deck into a complete breakfast. So this is submitted by someone who says that Snake Eyes and I quote, quote without turning the deck into a complete breakfast. Wait a minute, hold on. Wait a minute, that's not a Snake Eye card. That's Flamvelgard. What are we doing here? We're popping Dragon Ravine to add Rifle. <laughs> ah, okay, things are getting a little bit crazy now. I see. Special something out Reichhardt here, drawing into another, what's it called? Synchro for Amratara for Kalarium. Kalarium gonna add Meek here. Special Meek? Pop the Meek? This is like Pop the Baby for like uh, sci-fi fans, I guess. Trigger Kalarium and the Graveyard effect here for Stardust Synchro, bring back Flamvelgard. Arrival back the Reichhardt here. Up into Crimson Drive. This card was a mistake, dude. Holy crap. Search Synchro over top for uh, Princess. Princess bring back Flamberge. Uh, up into Amblo Whale with the uh, the Synchro here. Over top, bring back Fairy Dragon and the uh, Stardust. Synchroing up into the Meadow Marcher to bring back Amratara. And then keep Synchroing into Animador and Corcosaur. Drawing one card here. Into, what the fuck is that? Transcendosaurus Glaciosaurus. Scaling the Crimson Dragon. Okay, hold. What am I looking at here? We're going to go Flamgerd, summon the Crimson Dragon. Crimson Dragon, quick effect. Tag out into... King Calamity! And now our opponent can activate cards and effects. Now remember that we said that this replay is without Brickfest, okay? It's it's Snake Eye without the Brickfest, okay? So as you can see, we're not playing any Bricks in this Snake Eye deck. There are no bad cards to draw. A Dragon Ravine, Meeks, uh, Vsauce. Um, those are all standard cards in Snake Eye actually. So, um, yeah. Oh my god. Eldritch. <laughs> <laughs> Summon Stella pass. <laughs> oh, I thought he had a chance, bro. I thought he had a chance. <laughs> Alright. Sick. That was good. Uh, Alright. We've got what appears to be a, a Edo Pendulum. So if you don't know what Edo is, this is like basically like a weird kind of um, lock that you do to your opponent. Uh, you're supposed to put it to your opponent's side of the field here. Um, you cannot summon monsters. So you put this on your opponent's field face up, and ideally they don't tribute summon. Or tribute set, because that's, the, that's, the, that's actually the out to Edo. Is that your opponent is unable to uh, play because they can't summon monsters. So you give it to your opponent, and then you probably set up some kind of board that makes it so that they can't crash. So the only real way to uh, out it is by tribute setting. Which uh, I think you can out with like... Whatever the hell this pendulum deck is doing right now, because that's a light hex sealed fusion in the hand here. Uh, let them keep uh, playing the game, I suppose. They can't tribute set either because of rulings. What, is tribute setting considered summoning monsters now? Oh, okay, last play here is... Verte into... Okay, Sanctifier Dragon. This is the worst combo ever, by the way. Draw phase Sanctifier. So you give your opponent Edo, and then we get Electromite. Uh, sure. Alright. That's it? We used our whole... <laughs> we used our whole hand for that, by the way. Card Razor Pog! Alright, your opponent is unable to summon though, so let's see if uh, they can out this somehow. Don't tell me they're just gonna poke with Edo for like five turns and win the game. Your opponent was correct, by the way. You are a haha -ha loser, no offense. Uh, okay, we're setting Curtain Razor. 
Uh, we do just die to... I don't know, actually. You didn't need to set Curtain Razor. They can't summon monsters. All right. Um, we need to keep drawing pens monsters to set here, which shouldn't be too hard in this deck. Okay, what? Okay, we're not setting Double Iris Magician. I feel like we'd probably want a, a trap or something off of this here. What the heck is that? <laughs> the claw! <laughs> the claw! <laughs> Dragon Nails! What were they playing? <laughs> what the hell am I looking at here? Are we empty jarring our opponent, I guess? Special Summon Mothman. Discarding the uh, Zephros, Fairy Wind. Oh, it searches Morphing Jar. Special this idiot here. Gonna overlay it into Gallant Granite. Who will be detaching to... Oh, it specials a rock from the hand. True. Empty Jar. We're gonna go... Oh, Stovey Torby? Oh, my friend. You're just deck thinning for us, my friend. You are just deck thinning for us. You don't know where it's about to happen to you. All right, draw five, smile. Hand destruction. Ash Blossom. All right, count the hand traps we play through, chat. Count the hand traps. One. So far. Hand trap. Two. My brother in Christ, you think Maxi is going to help you against a mill deck? Oh, you're so foolish. You are so foolish. All right. Uh, activate Book of Tayo. Flip Morphing Jar. Morphing Jar effect. Discard. Draw five. Thunderbird. Pop the fucking... <laughs> he gets to pop the Labyrinth. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, hand Destruction. Both players send two. Draw two. Yo, is that Triple Book of Moon? Gonna activate another Avarice here. Recycling five in the deck. To uh, draw two. Getting there. Activate Book of Moon. Targeting the jar here. Special summoning. Uh, do not hit Book. Oh my god, AD Changer. You're an absolute demon. Get the Spirit of the Fairy Wind here. AD Changer banishing to flip the jar. Chaining, chaining the Chandra Glear to set from deck here. You fool. Setting a welcome. You're just deck thinning for us. AD Changer flips the jar. Chaining Kuklok here. Can we actually like use some trap cards? I think you need to like try and uh, pop something soon. Uh, we got Book of Moon to put the jar back down here. Back into the jar we go. Alright. Oh, that's a lot of nice floodgates. It's a shame they're not going to do anything in this matchup here. Card Destruction! Special summoning out Lady from the hand here. Alright. And both players discard. Draw. We are going to activate Mothman. Chain Welcome. Uh, what are you hoping to do here? <laughs> you just deck thinning for us, my guy. You are just deck thinning, setting Ice Dragon Prison. Ice Dragon Prison target rock monsters, that'd be pretty funny. All right, we're gonna summon Lovely. Uh, draw and discard. And AD Changer. Uh, flip back up, open uh, the jar. Ooh! All right, that's the third disruption here. So that's three. Bouncing the jar is actually kind of nuts here. And we get to pop a card. Can our hero still play through this, ladies and gentlemen? Can our uh, our protagonist here still win with the jar? All right, our opponent has just managed to build a board. By the way, we're gonna use pot. Pot friend is going to draw two cards for us here. How are we digging out of this one? Uh, we got damage juggler banishing to search, Spe searching another hat tricker, special the hat tricker, and overlay into papal operative. Papal Operative gonna flip summon the Gallant Granite. Wait a minute, is that not once per turn? Okay, we're gonna go Thunderbird. And now we're gonna. Oh, I think we're. I don't think we're resummoning the jar. I think we're just decking our opponent out here. No, Saryuja! You can! Oh, that's so funny! Alright, we're gonna draw and we're going to. Uh, oh, double summon. That's hilarious. What are you gonna do here? Double summon. Discard. Yep, book. Set jar. AD changer flip. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna double summon the jar here. <laughs> Nibiru! <laughs> Four disruptions. And we're getting nibbed here. Get nibbed. And discard the opponent's entire hand. I think this might be enough here. Discard, draw. No more cards can be drawn. We won! A bounce, an ash, a Nibiru. Uh, and I think there was something else. I forgot what we started with. There was four disruptions total. And we empty jarred our opponent. Nice. What a gamer. What a gamer, dude. What a gamer. Uh, this is Yusei's um, origin story, apparently.
Whatever that means. All right, uh, our opponent is summoning Fenrir. I don't remember that part of the story, honestly. This was like a long time ago. This guy's at one, but we Fenrir added Fenrir here. Okay. All right, we're gonna go on your marks, get set, duel. Start us elimination. Getting back seat here. A little fast forward here. Sending. Jet Synchron. Junk Synchron, sorry for the Stardust Worm. Banishing. Triggering the Doppel Warrior. Haha. -ha. Trigger and quick effect is different in OCG and TCG. Doppel Warrior getting tokens here, plus the speeder summoning uh, three guys from the deck. Reaper? What did you just reveal? Baron? That's kind of funny, I guess. Uh, we're going to go shooting Riser Dragon. Send Quick Draw Synchron <laughs> for Junk Warrior. Junk Warrior gain attack points. Scrap Fist! What the hell does Scrap Fist do? Target a Junk Warrior for battles. Uh, your opponent can activate a bunch of stuff and it doubles the attack and everything. Oh, <laughs> that was big! Oh my god, okay, so Scrap Fist, double attack, and Rush Warrior. For Warrior Synchro Battle, send this. Battling attack becomes double. So you double the attack to 88, 88 over 24, plus the double damage from the Scrap Fist. Ha-ha! <laughs> you say out here punching very hard. Beautiful. That was, uh, that was great. Alright, what do we got here? We got, uh, Scorpio. With a well wheel synchro in the hand, so you know that this is always gonna be fun. Junk Converter for Assault Synchron. Special Summon to go into Junk Speeder with a Cobra, by the way. Alright, for some reason we have a lot of synchro, uh, duelists today here. That's a TG Hyper Librarian into the Axel. Alright, forming some chains here, bringing back and drawing. Illumination, plus this into the uh, Stardust Trail. We got Bat Chest, the OG Stardust, uh, into the uh, Crimson Dragon. Drawing cards, triggering a bunch of things. Banishing to Tribute, to Banish itself to Revive. Gets Synchro World and draws cards. Those are some very fascinating, interesting cards we're drawing with this uh, deck, by the way. Surely we won't be doing anything unfair and uh, ridiculous with this DNA surgery in our hand. Baron de Fleur. Jet Synchron, add, converter, special summon, or adding rather, defense zone. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that is. I'm going to read it after we end this turn, clearly. Something silly is about to happen here. Set, pop the revolution synchron, and pass turn. All right, what are we looking at here? For each monster a player controls in the main monster zone, their spell and trap zones in the same column as that monster cannot be destroyed by their opponent's card effects, and their opponent cannot target them with card effects. So we're protecting four back row by having defense zone on the field here. We're going to go sacred statue, bring back stardust dragon uh, from the graveyard here. So if you think about it, it's like um, lightning storm protection as well as destruction protection of the monsters with the stardust dragon. That's very clever. Why is this a fucking mirror match, by the way? <laughs> Why is this a mirror match? Okay, we're gonna add Junk Synchron here. Normal Summon Junk Synchron. Targeting the Converter. Gonna, We're going to let our opponent do all of this here. Okay. Alright. Uh, we're gonna make our own Junk Speeder. Are we gonna negate this? Okay, no. Because we chain blocked it with Converter. We're gonna go Crimson Dragon now. Tagging out the Stardust Spark Dragon. Tagging itself for Buster Dragon. <laughs> Wait, so what does this do? Makes everything a dragon monster. Alright, so now everything is a dragon. Uh-huh. Right. So we can keep synchroing. This is going this is this is going somewhere. Okay, chaining DNA surgery to call spellcaster. So now everything is a spellcaster. But Buster Dragon also applied to make everything a dragon. Okay. So now we're going to summon Stardust Dragon. And we're just going to let the opponent cook here into our own Crimson Dragon. Stardust Trail brings back Crimson Dragon tagging out here. Doppel Warrior forming a chain. Bringing out a bunch of tokens. Alright, we're just letting our opponent play the game here it looks like. Summoning two tokens here. Into Synchro World. Okay. Special summoning Junk Synchron. Activating the Synchro World. Time for Super Polymerization. Discarding to send. <laughs> 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 
Quintet Magician. <laughs> ah, I see. Oh, it destroys all cards your opponent controls. You know, you could have just, with, with the amount of cards you had, you could have just negated your and stopped your opponent from playing the game. But no, we had to let our opponent, we had to give them that sliver of hope. We had to give them that feeling that they had a chance. Fuse their entire field away because of the DNA surgery, which is into a Quintet Magician, which is five spellcasters required. And then on Fusion Summon, it destroys all of their cards. So, you know, we had to we had to let them live up to that. Okay. Um, so you called yourself, please don't surrender. Please don't surrender. I'm playing Snake Eye. Please don't surrender. Surely this Snake Eye deck is uh, definitely what it's uh, advertised to be here. Oh, chasing the chasing the uh, the black uh, witch into the scale here for the poplar. Ash, send yourself now for oak to bring back poplar. Pa 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 pa. Sending the witch here for the flamberge, climbing up into Hita. bringing back two games here, two guys here. Pixie knight targeting Hita. Oh, sending Trivikarma. Okay, adds Kalarium. Mills three. Deep Sea Seated Sword is sent back to the top of the deck here. We're going to add back the... We're going to go Rhyme Heart for Meek now. Okay, Trisutka. Bring back Meek here. Amritara. Going to add a uh, Pearl of Rhino. Pop Curious. Make Light Heart. Uh, Manadium, by the way. For Reich Phobia, for Reich Heart. Special Summon to add a Rival. New field spell time. Going through three of four planets now. Starfrost, pop the light heart, bring back the light heart. <laughs> All of this to summon two warriors, huh? <laughs> oh, gear. Bamboo sword. Turpine. Cheeto. Cheeto. <laughs> How many decks are we playing? <laughs> Circular. <laughs> Said Nabla. <laughs> tribute is oldie. Bring back Nabla. Circular ad factorial. Nabla tribute. Summon Diameter. Arrival for Starfrost. Uh, into Splash Mage. Uh, banish a Light in the Dark for Astraloud. Bring back Diameter. Link up into Protect Code Talker. Into Firewall Singularity. Don't pass turn. You're gonna pass turn, aren't you? Wait, no, there's more. We bring back Protect Code Talker. Draw one, set Factorial, and pass turn. Firewall pass for any OG Table 500 enjoyers. Just F, you know, I just wanna... I think that might be the reference here. You know, Firewall Pass for any classic uh, Farfa fans. All right, our opponent is on Snake Eye apparently here. We're going to go and use the Factorial here. Targeting the three gamers. Are we going to Synchro or are we going to uh, XC here? Oh, God, that's disgusting. Oh, by the grave. Coming down on Diameter here. Wait, what? Targeting Circular? Okay, we're just going to let our opponent have a negate here. No, we're not because we don't have any uh, Alum versions. Weird, I know, because... Uh, might shock and surprise you, but there's no more targets um, in our extra deck. We did have to use 13 of them to do that combo. All right, and this is a Diameter and an Abla here. And uh, by the way, Singularity just bounced all of those uh, opponent's cards on their uh, turn to the uh, to the hand there. Um, are we going to do more nonsense things here? Oh, we got drolled. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, well, that is the end of the game. Manadium. Would you believe it? Next up, we've got... Bath Mech. Huh? 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 Yo, mining discard maxi. Oh, circular plus defender. This guy has to like have like full combo here. All right. Okay. Skip through that. And now it's time. We normal summon Mataza the Zapper. Activate uh, bashing shield. Really going to negate bashing shield, huh? Negate bashing shield. Haha, <laughs> you fool. Activate United We Stand. Chain Dark Fluid. Uh, doesn't this one just, like, bounce or something? Oh, we're gonna send addition here. Okay. Equipping Axe of Troll Despair. Equipping Axe of Psychic Blade. Clarent to attack directly. Imagine sitting playing with yourself for 10 minutes just to lose to fucking Mataza punching you twice really hard. <laughs> ah, epic. Time for the uh, Manadium mirror match. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, adding uh, Meek here. Vertrasukka. Aha, uh -huh. Amritara. Wait, this is a Reggie replay. Okay, all right, okay, all right. Let him cook. Our opponent needs to get through their whole turn first, and then we get to do some funny stuff here. Okay, we got Ice Jade, uh, Gimmer, Agarin. Oh, and Maxi. Nice. You could have just shown me that at the start of the duel. I would have left. But not Reggie. Why did you add the third visa? <laughs> do we really need that many visas? <laughs> ah, Manadium Fearless. Okay. Obsession. Your opponent just does not care to negate these cards. Okay, that's fair. Chainlink to Kalarium, by the way, to target the Fearless here. Uh, okay. Bring back Fearless. Special Summon Fearless. Imagining. Hmm, I guess we get to put back one of our Vsauces here. Torrid, by the way. <laughs> Obsession banishing to Special Summon out Vsauce. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Braveheart! Battle phase. Attack! Baron! Attack! Dispater! Attack! Sprite Elf! Oh, he only gets three attacks? Man, he sucks. <laughs> Manadium Prime Heart has a special defensive ability that stops your opponent from targeting with card effects. No monster facing Manadium Prime Heart will be saved due to its multiple energy blades. <laughs> he activated Astraloud and he didn't realize Prime Heart was untargetable. Now he has to pop his own Aegir in. Normal summon Maxi, huh? Pop Maxi with uh, Abscission, okay. So surely we can just punch the Rhyme Heart, surely. Surely. Searching Visas. Abscission effect, banishing, special summoning Visas. Battle phase, attack over the Prime Heart with the Astral out. No! What does he do? Brings back Visas! Uh, hey, Michael here. Oh shit, the opponent's Visas triggers now. You guys know that Visas' field effect is absolutely crazy, by the way. All right, bring back the uh, Visa Starfrost. And draw for turn. Good imaginings here. Imagining revealing to draw. <laughs> Ash Blossom. It's like the worst card to Ash Blossom. <laughs> My guy. Special summon Torrid. Ah, Maxi 2. Chain Rhymeheart. Gonna pop the Torrid and summon himself here. Gee, I wonder what we'll summon next. How many Prime Hearts do you think Reggie plays? Chain Kalarium and Torrid and Rhyme Heart. All right, special summon Torrid. Oh, this one's Meek actually. Meek and Torrid. Rhyme Heart add. What the fuck is that? Manadium Break Heart? Those are just words, man. <laughs> he drolled under his own Maxi. What a silly boy. Why Maxi no draw? But why the Maxi no draw? Amritara. And uh, destroying the Fearless. Fearless. Floating into another Fearless. Trisutka. Changing the level here. <laughs> into another Manadium Prime Heart! Battle phase! Attack! Attack! And do we get one more attack? Special summon back Vsauce! Clear the Vsauce with Trisutka! Oh my god! Alright, now we get to see what Break Heart does. Uh, battle phase. Attack. Prime Heart. No! The Energy Blades! Floats back into Rhyme Heart. Rhyme Heart add back Meek. Jesus Christ, man. This is how I imagine, like, Manadium testing to go. Um, sealed Manadium, maybe. I don't know. There's a, like, friggin' Torrid in here. Oh, Synchro into another Trasutka. Trasutka, bring back Fearless. No, not called by the grave. Flip over this Break... Oh, there we go. Break Heart. Alright, what does this do? Oh, it's a Reborn? Special summon a Synchro in your graveyard. Okay. Brings back Amritara. Um, that still banishes the Fearless. Okay. Uh, banish the Light in the Dark for our Astraloud. Oh, no. You had to actually use the Astraloud. And that is the end of the game. Well, that was, uh, that was interesting. I'll tell you that. That was definitely a duel of all time. All right. We are playing Snake Eye Dragon Link. All right. Very well. Uh, we're going to maxi our opponent here. That's uh, unlucky for them, I guess. Still going to play into with the original Sin? Doesn't even get a Resilio. Huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Wanted Bellstar into Junk Speeder for five. 
We're a lot of speedy boys in uh, this uh, Table 500 episode, don't we? But really, uh, a lot of, lots of master of fasters. And here's Baron for the hand trap time now. Hey, Brulee Bruin drew his worm target the Assault Synchron. Banishing to recycle back the uh, cards here. Chaining the Magnemut. Banishing the Bell Star. Not sure if that's going to matter here. He gets a search at the end phase. Wanted recycle. Draw one. Revolution Synchron effect. That's going to be Ash Blossomed. But uh, still going here. We got three, four hand traps we've played through so far. Popping our own Stardust here. Triggering the Wakaoshi. Special summoning out Soul Gaia. Bring itself out from the Spell and Trap Zone into Menacing Mantis Diablantis. Hyperlibarian sending, targeting itself. Uh, who the heck is that? A praying mantis in the graveyard there, sent from the uh, insect synchro. The synchro world as well as the overtake here, bringing back jet synchron, wheel synchron, manipulating the level here. And <laughs> Are you black rosing yourself? No, okay, we're just summoning the black rose. <laughs> Card destruction! Ah, oh, he's decking you out! <laughs> Maxi challenge accepted. Wait, what? Wait, what? What just happened? Wait, did they fuck up the deck out? <gasps> oh! Time limit! They just had to special summon one more time and they timed out. Oh, no. Wait, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes, we're definitely playing Super Heavy Samurai. Alright, this one's gonna be a long one here. We're gonna add the Piercer, Equip, Link, into Scarecrow, and adding Wakushi. Scaling for a big Benjamin. Discard Avida Loka to bring back the, uh, the Piercer here to add Pierce Pacemaker. Equipping, Tributing, Special Summoning Wagon. Bring back the Pacemaker here. Oh, okay. That's, uh, we're playing Pendulum. Uh, Poem. Dark Dorido! Haha, yes, we definitely need Dark Dorido. Dark Dorido stacking our deck with five elemental attributes. Or four or something. We're gonna go into Saryuja to draw all of them. And there's Rescue Ferret, the fairest card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Do not at me here. Is that a freaking Serpentine Princess? Here's uh, Armades, searching a Blue Eyes White Dragon, by the way, with the uh, White Stone. Bring back the Brother Tor here, which triggers to discard Kit to add Tierra, Source of Destruction, by targeting Armades. Nerval is going to get Fractal here. Um, and then we're going to go into Romulus to add Divine Lance, not not Ravine. Cut the Lance here for Phalanx. Phalanx summoning itself to go into a Synchro 7 for the Ancient Fairy Dragon. Special summoning the Serpentine Prince. What the fuck are you doing? What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? What are you doing? Ah! If this face-up card is shuffled from the field, special summon to level 3 or lower monster from- If this face-up card is shuffled from the field onto the- Okay, alright, so Tierra Source of Destruction must be spread from the hand by shuffling 10 other cards with different names from your hand, field, and or deck, or extra deck. Can't be special summoned ways. The summon can't be negated. And if it's shuffled, shuffle all cards in the deck, uh, except this, uh, card from each player's hand, field, graveyard, and face-up pendulum zones. So we spin away the entire hand, field, grave, deck, and hand- of our uh, ourselves and our opponent here, but the Serpentine Princess triggers because when it specifically is shuffled away, apparently it summons Deskbot 2. And then from there, we add Deskbot 9. <laughs> and then the other princess triggers to summon Harvester. <laughs> okay. And then Harvester, uh, targeting the two here. Uh, we're overlaying into... Is this gigantic? Oh, gigantic. I thought they were level 2. Okay, Gigan X here. Are we just going to do Earth Machine combo here? Ah, add Wakaoshi. <laughs> okay, we didn't really end on much, to be fair. Uh, it seems our opponent hasn't ended on much either. Wait, isn't this good? Oh, it's the wrong equip spell. Sophia! Wait, there's more? There's more? Okay, we're going to detach. We're going to add Soul Piercer. Are you just going to do the same combo? Okay, Jesus Christ, he's going to do it all again. <laughs> he's just going to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright. Uh, let's see what's in the gas tank this time here with these super heavy samurais. Motorbike! Adding a soul claw. Pacemaker. Equip. Attach. Uh, are you just gonna perpetually keep us, like, hostage here? You're not gonna do it again, right? How many turns was this duel? I mentioned it at the start here, I forgot. How many turns was this duel? Seven? 
Oh, there's no way. Are you just going to keep your opponent hostage? And until they until they leave? Uh, okay. I'm just a geeky boy. All right, we're doing different combos so far, it looks like. Nice arrows, by the way. Okay, triple burst dragon. Pisty, bring back Brotor. What are we targeting this time? Oh, now we're going for Sophia. Uh, okay. Lance. An endless uh, cycle of destruction and creation. Tierra and Sophia. Wow. Is this actually what we're doing here? Is this a lore duel? Uh, buddy. You, my friend, are recycling between Sophia, Tierra, and surely Avita comes into this as well somewhere. Holy. This is some freaking dedication, my friend. Cynet Ritual, by the way. Cyber... Okay, Synchro, Ixi, um, Ritual. We need Fusion. There it is. Diplexer, Chimera. Battle Phase. Attacking. For a little bit of damage. Not quite game. Main Phase 2. Uh, 5 Rainbow Magician for Sophia. And now we summon Sophia. Wait, doesn't Sophia also shuffle everything? When this card is special summoned, banish all other cards from both players' hands, fields, and graveyards. Cards and effects can be active and responsive. When this card is special summoned... Wait, what? Why didn't that resolve? Huh? Anyway. Anyway. Oh, the five Rainbow Magician locked it. Okay, so we summoned it with the win with the uh, summoning condition. But because we don't have a set spell and trap, we can't activate the effect to banish. Uh, okay. And now we're summoning Avida. <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> Alright, there it is. An endless cycle of destruction and creation. Sophia, Avida, and Tierra. Wow. That's like genuinely impressive. That is very cool.